Well, hello, welcome or welcome back to my kitchen, whichever it is, I'm happy you're here. I am Tina with Hanging with Frugal Tina. As always, thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate you. So today I'm doing a week's worth of meals uh, from the dollar store for $10. Now, going into this, I, ha I want to tell you what my thought process was. There are certain things I was thinking while I was in there, trying to figure out what I wanted to do and while I was planning. There are, when I go in there, I'm looking for at least two sources of protein, at least two sources of vegetable, and then beyond that would be like my flavor enhancers or just cuz just because I want something extra or whatever, but I really want to get the protein and the veggies in first. After that, I will fill in the rest. Now, my thought process, there's three categories that I'm trying to fill. One would be healthy, which is a little difficult at the dollar store because you're gonna, you don't get fresh things there. You get processed things and stuff like that. The second one is bulk slash calories you want to be full you don't want to be hungry all day long and you need the calories to sustain you throughout the day next thing is variety uh, me i don't mind eating the same thing every day for a week it really doesn't bother me as a matter of fact i'm known for doing that i go on these little kicks where for lunch all i want is a ham and cheese sandwich every day for lunch just a ham and cheese sandwich and then I grow tired of it and then I'll move on to something else. So for me personally, that's not a big issue. That can go right out the door as far as I was concerned. Hey, this week we're having bologna sandwiches for lunch and that'll be that. Um, but not everybody's like that. So what I chose to do today was to try and give you a little bit of variety, but mostly I think that you, can, you can't have all three. At least I've not been able to do it. So I tried to do my best, uh, but I think what's really going to go out the door is the healthy or as, as much as I can get to healthy. Uh, I don't know. Let me show you what I got and then we'll get right into the cooking. Okay, so remember I did a $10 budget. That meant I can get eight items. Okay, so the first thing I got, uh, and we're doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the first thing I got was some uh, Farmer John sausage. That's gonna be used for breakfast. And then I got some John Morrell sausage. That's going to be used for two different kinds of meals. That's my two proteins. For my vegetables, I definitely wanted the peppers and onions because not only is it a veggie, but it's also a flavor enhancer, my just cause right? But that is considered my veggie for today, for this video. Now, I'm going to decide later in the video which one I'm going to use because I can't really decide which one I want in my recipe. So my second veggie is either going to be the mixed vegetables or, which is new to me, my store, broccoli cuts. I really like broccoli, but I don't know if it's gonna have enough variety for what I wanna do to use the broccoli, and it would put me over budget to get full. So that's that. What are my Just Cause flavor enhancers? Because I can get eight items, right? So I got my, my four major ones out of the way. I needed to get those. So my flavor enhancers are Sorry, my chair is squeaking. Cheese. Now, it could be a spice. It could be anything. But these are the enhancers I'm going with. And spaghetti sauce. Now, I'm going to do something different with spaghetti sauce than just making spaghetti. But if I wanted to, I could because another item I got was elbow macaroni. I'm going to use very little of this. Very little. So I could pair that and make another meal for variety's sake. I also got some home fries, not home fries, uh, 
hash browns, and I got some bread. So the sauce I'm gonna do something different with other than just tomato sauce and pasta because that's the obvious. Although I could do that and I could stretch this meal. I actually think I have more than a week's worth uh, for, for lunch and dinner, but not so much for breakfast because breakfast is gonna be minimal. I'm not a big breakfast eater anyway. If I eat, it's a couple of mouthfuls and a sip of something and I'm out the door. So let's get over there. Let's start cooking. I'm going to show you how all of this is going to equal a week's worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, so we're going to start with breakfast. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reconstitute the um, hash browns. You just open it up. You fill it to about here with some hot water or I don't even know if it says hot, but I put hot water in it and you let that set. So let's do that. And there's a line right in here. It's pretty much right to where the fold is. So you just add, and this makes a lot, guys. I thought this was a little box and it wasn't gonna make much. It makes a lot. But I am gonna show you how to cook these by not following the directions. Because if you follow directions, it's not gonna turn out like you like. Oop, almost put too much in there. So we're just gonna, we're gonna uh, close these up and set them over here. Actually, I did put too much in there. Okay. I added a little bit too much. Second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the peppers and onions and I'm gonna sort these out because I need onions for another dish where I don't want peppers and I have peppers where I may or may not want the onions depending on how many I have left. So first thing I'm gonna do, slice them right open and just sort them out. You don't need to watch me do that, so let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I separated it-ish. I took out as much onions as I feel like I need from my other dish. I left the peppers and onions that are here. Um, I'm gonna run my knife through them just a little because I do kind of want them a little bit bigger. Um, but I'm gonna move you guys over here and I'm gonna be just hands from this point forward. So let's move it on over. So I was thinking I am probably gonna have to use a little bit of oil and I'll tell you why when we get there. So that will be the pantry staple I was talking about rather than butter. I need a little bit of oil when I get to the um, hash browns. So anyway, we're gonna start off by cooking the sausage because that's gonna give me some fat to do the um, peppers and onions. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown this up in the frying pan here. I got a big frying pan for a reason. I know it's a little bit of sausage in a big pan, but it'll make sense in a few minutes. Okay, so let me get to fry that up. All right, so those are about as done as I want them. We got quite a bit of, you know, oil that this releases in the bottom. I don't know if you can see all that down there. And that's what I'm gonna use to fry the um, peppers and onions. So I'm gonna get off as much grease as I can and put it in this bowl. Then we're going to add the peppers and onions. Okay, so now the uh, peppers and onions, because they're frozen, they have a lot of um, liquid in them. So we're really gonna have to sweat them out. Um, and that's just what we're going to do. We're going to take the peppers and onions that we separated. I left these whole and we're gonna add them to this pan. I wanted it to cool down a little bit because I didn't want to get splattered when I added this. So I let it calm down a little bit. And I still have my reserved onions right there. All right, so these are cooked down to my preference. You can cook them longer or not as long as you want. I'm gonna try and get these out, leaving as much in the pan as I can.
All right, let me try and get this out of the pan. Okay. So I took out the peppers and onions. I took half of the, it's a small bowl. I took half of these peppers and onions and I took them out because I forgot I need some for another recipe. So half of this, gone. It's just sitting on a mountain of um, meat, trying to show you. It's mostly meat in there. I took half of the peppers and onions and put them in another bowl. Okay, trust me on this one, okay? I'm gonna add a little oil to the pan. I may not need it because I have that in there, but I'm gonna add a dash. I, I would have added at least that much of the oil in there. I know it seems like a lot of oil, but trust me on this one, guys. So on the box, it says to stir it every two minutes. Don't do that. You will not get the good caramelization you're looking for if you do that. Ooh, let me turn that down. Hold on. Okay. I had too much water in the container. I put too much before when I first put it on. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a nice thin layer. Heck with it. Put it all in there. Now, it tells you to stir it every two minutes. Don't do that. Just leave it here for about four to six minutes, and then you're gonna flip it, and you're gonna have a nice crust on the bottom. I wish that Dollar Store carried eggs. I was did a, a video, a couple of videos ago, about the top 10 picks, and one would be eggs if they had them. Well, I did some research. Dollar Store no longer carries eggs because of the price. We are, this is uh, January 2024, and they're still not carrying them. I wish they'd carry like a, maybe a dehydrated or egg beaters or something, because this would be great if we had some eggs. Okay, let's give them a flip. It's been about four minutes. I just kind of separate them a little bit to see like what portion sizes we're gonna get. I realize that these portion sizes are gonna be a little bit small, but let's go with it. You see that? You're not going to get that if you continue to stir and move, stir and move. You're not going to get it. The week, but, oops, but it may not be crispy when I reheat it but it still translates into flavor. All right, I'm gonna give this a couple of more minutes on that side so the rest of it could brown up and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, for me, that's enough. I don't want it crunchy all the way around. I still want some potato left. And back into the pan, I'm gonna add the peppers, the onions, and the sausage. I thought that was a hair in my food. It's, a, it's an onion. I'm going to put this grease back in there. Flavor, flavor, flavor. All righty. Let's plate this up and give it a good taste. Okay. So I realize that these portion sizes are a little small for, I guess, everybody else because I eat small. But this, I got... I felt the heat behind me. I thought the oven was on, the stove was still on. Um, I measured it out. You can get, depending on your appetite, four to six servings from this. So what I would do is probably invest another dollar in um, more hash browns so that they can stretch farther. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a taste. See how good it is. I'm trying to get a piece of that sausage. I got a little bit of everything in here. Oop, I can't see you. Where'd you go? I lost you. Let's see. That's what she looks like. Let's give it a taste. Smells yummy. I didn't even add salt and pepper. I forgot. So let's see how it is without salt and pepper. Definitely needs it. Let me add some. Hold on. All right. So I added some salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper on it. Oh, yeah, that was all I needed. Salt and pepper. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now we're gonna go on to what I would eat for lunch 
for the week. Okay, for lunches, I'm going to make a couple of things that you could have, and we can mix and match lunch and dinner, because some of the things I'm going to make for dinner, you could sub in for lunch, so it just feels like a little bit more that you're not just having one thing for lunch and one thing for dinner. You can kind of switch it up. That you that may help a little bit with the boredom. I want to make these uh, these cheese roll-ups that are good. It's a, it's a different way of making a grilled cheese sandwich. But who wants to eat just grilled cheese? I'm gonna take this can of tomato sauce and I'm going to turn it in to tomato soup. A favorite of mine when I was a little kid, my mom used to make me tomato noodle soup with uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. And that is a comfort food for me for way back. Okay, so I left these sitting out intentionally because I wanted some of the water to get out of them and for them to start, you know, softening down. What I'm going to do with the onions is I'm just going to chop them up as if I had, an, you know, a, a whole onion here. And I'm just going to, I'm going to dice them down real small. For lunch, I'm going to be using my spice cabinet. So let's start cooking. I let the onion sit out for as long as I can and try to squeeze out as much of the, um water as possible. So that's going in. Now, if you didn't have an onion, which I barely do, but if you didn't have an onion, you could use the dehydrated onion in here. You could also use onion powder. And what you do is you hit it to your dry pan, you add some of the onion powder, and then you heat it. I think it's called, I think it's called blooming uh, the spices. Don't quote me though, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So let's cook these down a little bit. Oh, needed a little bit of oil. That's my fat. All I need was just enough to kind of get some flavor in the pan. I really want to cook these down a little bit, so when those are ready, I'll show you. Alright, so those are cooked down to my liking. All right. So I'm going to let that come together for a second. Ah, oh, you know what I wanted to do? Drax. I did want to add basil. And I got to bump in my gums and forgot. So I'm going to add a little basil to the pan right here. Because I like basil in my tomato soup. And if it's not in there, I know. Try to move that off the heat a little bit and just... Just warm them slightly. Well, let me do that. All right, that took all of less than a minute. I do it until I start smelling it, and then I go for like a couple of seconds past that. Okay. But we're gonna add it until we don't wanna add it anymore, until it's soup of your consistency. Okay. One of the reasons why I did spaghetti sauce versus a can of tomato sauce is because it's already seasoned. I'm just gonna add some pepper. I haven't tasted it yet. So we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes or so, and I'm gonna give it a good taste, and I'm gonna either add more water, add more sauce, but we'll go from there. I just went in with my plastic spoon and tasted it already. It's yummy. Now, don't come for me for my plastic spoon. I do it for a reason. Because when you stick a metal spoon in there, it comes out and it burns my mouth. So that's why I use the plastic. For the roll-ups, you can use a rolling pin, uh, a glass, a jar, anything. Your hands. You can leave the bread crust on or take it off. I leave it on. It's extra food. So basically, all you're going to do is just roll these out nice and flat. Just like that. Let me do the other. Eric was just down here. He's gonna give you critique at the end. He's been sampling everything as I go. Obviously he didn't have this because he can't have cheese. So there's 12 slices in here. So you have enough for 12 sandwiches. You could do plain old grilled cheese sandwich or six Two slices, you know what I mean? 
So these would be my lunches. You just take the cheese and put it right on, but you just gently roll. Cheese on my finger, just like that. Okay, so the kids ran off with a couple. I had to make one for Eric first because he can't have our kind of cheese. They are sampling everything I make. So this, this would be extra cheese for a sandwich that I did not make. And then I ended up, because I had to account for all the cheese, uh, I ended up with extra cheese after I would have made a sandwich for every day. Okay, so I have a little butter in the pan. I didn't want it to burn. And we have our little roll-ups. Put the seam side down. You can um, make these and warm them in a toaster oven or your air fryer. You can do your microwave. I doubt it'd be crispy at that point. But, so we're just gonna brown these up and I'll show you how they look. Okay, so I'm just rewarming my uh, soup here. It doesn't look like a lot because this is a huge pot. So it's sitting low, but there's plenty in there. Here are the roll-ups, how they turned out. I just kept rolling them and rolling them. And see, so they start to stick afterwards. Now, what I would do with this uh, soup is I would put my pasta, keep my pasta separate if I was going to make this for the entire week and I was only going to eat that because then the pasta will absorb the soup and then you don't have any soup. You just have spaghetti, I suppose. But whoop, almost knocked that over. What I did was I took those little elbows and I broke them down. Unless I was having a giant bowl, then I'll put that. I'm only putting a little bit in here just for the video purposes. But let me put some soup in here and I'll show you what everything looks like. So there's the soup with the pasta in it. Gonna take one of these dippers just so you can see what it looks like. Oops, must fell the soup. Dunk it in there, donkey donkey. Pretty darn good. See this? Look at that cheese pull. Okay, I have some empty bags out here just so I can show you what we need for these next two uh, meals. We're gonna need pasta, the uh, peppers and onions. I have a slice and a half of cheese left, the uh, mixed vegetables, John Burrell sausage, and quite a bit of the pasta sauce left. Um, we're going to have to play Let's Pretend. When I went to get the peppers and onions out of the refrigerator from earlier today, I dropped it. So, uh, not all of it, but most of it. So I'm just going to take a little bit and add it back to what I had. Uh, not this bag, obviously, but I have some other ones. So if it looks a little different, it is a little different. So I got two meals to go and they're quite big and these are gonna span over uh, if you felt hungry or you know, lunch wasn't enough or whatever the case may be, let's get right to it and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, first things first. You might notice these peas. I have had Dollar Tree's mixed vegetables before and I don't like their peas. I think that they pick them like underripe or something, or maybe they're not really peas, they're soybean or something, but they're really like, they're hard and no amount of boiling gets them to where I want. So I just picked them out. There weren't very many, so I picked them out. That's that. I like peas, I don't like those. All right, so I'm going to make two meals right now, simultaneously, kinda. So each one is gonna get a link of sausage in it. So I'm gonna dice these up and then we'll go from there. Okay, coming down the home stretch here. Try to keep them separate. That's one, that's the other. Okay, so let's move it on over. 
All right, so this one I'm not limiting myself on. I'm going to use my spice cabinet. I just put a little oil in there to uh, brown up the sausage. So what I'm going to try and make is like a, a minestrone kind of a soup. And the other one's going to be a pasta sauce, a pasta dish. All right, so I did a 50-50 deal. I couldn't decide. I cut some, I left some whole. Now, this smoked sausage isn't fooling anybody. It's parading around here like it's kielbasa or something. It's not. It's just a glorified hot dog. You're not fooling anybody, John Morrell. All right, so I'm going to move this over to the soup pot. I still need this for my other dish. To the pot, I'm going to add our mixed vegetables. Oh, I see some peas in there. Well, if I see them, I'll pick them out. Minus the peas. It's probably going to end up in my food, too. But listen. You hear that? Dink, dink. That's a hard pea. Now I have to go find it because it hit the floor. Got it. All right, so we're going to give these a nice little mix in here. That water I added a little bit just to steam them in the microwave. To this pot, you're gonna add six to eight cups of water or chicken broth, chicken bouillon, chicken whatever. This time I'm going to use some of the broth. Uh, I added enough for five, I still have another one to go some flavor in there. If you don't have it, you could season it up with your spice cabinet, but I, I do have it. And we're eating this, so. It's a half a cup of sauce. We're going to add some onion powder. I'm going to add some garlic powder. A little bit of paprika. In my house, we call it paprika. Just some red pepper. A little bit of oregano, oregano. When I use oregano, I like to like rub it in my fingers just a little bit to wake it up. And I think it could use just a little bit of time. I only have ground time right now. Pinch, just for now. So I taste it. I'm gonna add a handful of tomato basil or just basil if you don't have it. All right, we're gonna let that simmer down. Uh, now, we're, I am going to put pasta in here. If you're doing it meal prep style, I would not put the pasta in there. Same as the other dish, the soup. I would keep the pasta on the side and then when you're ready to do it, hit it with the pasta. Let me get a taste of the broth to see what's going on. I think it could use a little bit more of the tomato sauce, but I'm going to hold off on that because I have to make my other one. Yeah, no, that's good. All right, let's go on to the next one because everything's going to be done at the same time. This is the last of the sausage. Going to brown that up just like we did the other. So I'm going to do the same thing to these. Now, remember before I said, let's play, let's pretend because I dropped the peppers and onions. So... I threw some in here. It does look like more than what I had, but these aren't cooked down and they haven't been sitting for a couple hours. And it's not the exact same thing. It was a blend. I think there's, might even be like celery in that, but I, it's all I had. See, there's the, the ones I had, but that's all, I dropped it. So what can I do? Uh, this isn't much. This look up. It's a tiny little bowl. Okay. That's done. I need a bigger pot. Kind of like I need a bigger bowl, right? Okay. Alrighty. We're going to add quite a bit. I mean, for one person, this 
frying pan is huge. Now this you can meal prep like this and keep the sauce separate. I gotta take a little bit out because Eric wants it and he can't have cheese. I'm about to throw some slices of cheese in here. So let me get a little, another little frying pan out for him. Almost forgot a step, the sauce. Told you I still had quite a bit left. All right, let's move things around. I almost started without just, I was sparingly putting this around all of the dishes. Turn that back on. Where's our two slices of cheese? Slice and a half. I hope it's not a mistake. So I really have nothing left. I've used every ingredient that we had. Oops. And we're just gonna mix this through. And I'm gonna show you all the food we just made. Because this will work over many meals and you can mix and match everything. But we'll talk about that when I get to the table. All right, so here we have our soup with our vegetables, sausage, all the flavors I added. And in's going some pasta. That's a that's a half a pound of pasta. This will last you more than a week. How many bowls of soup you can get out of this? You could do this with your grilled cheese sandwich or your grilled cheese roll-ups, or you could have soup for lunch, pasta for dinner, pasta for lunch, soup for dinner. You have a lot of options. And that's why I said I didn't want to give up variety. I didn't want to give up the calories. And I had to give up the healthy only because it was my only other option. And there is processed food in here. Okay. Got a ton of food. Uh, I want to show you what this looks like. Let's get a bowl of that. Oops. Take a look at that. Woo -hoo! That is a lot of food for one person. Look at all that food. Tell me that's not a lot. If you get any benefit at all from my content, you can help me out by clicking like, share, commenting, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. We're at the table! Woohoo! Eric has been taste testing all day. Mm -hmm. All day. Uh, let's start with the soup because that has cheese in it. This is a, um, like a minestrone type of thing, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Mm. Yummy. I got a piece of sausage in that one. It's really good. Really good? It's amazing. You eat it again? Hmm? You eat it again? 100%. Yeah. He was tearing that tomato soup up, by the way, let me tell you. He kept coming down saying, can I, can I have some more? Can I have some more? I'm like, can you leave me some for a picture? I don't think I got it. I don't know, but. I'm ready for this. Ready. Get a little bit of the meat. Get a little bit of the peppers and onions. Oh, you're ahead of me, aren't you? I see you in my peripheral. Mmm. Mm. I can taste the peppers and onions. I'm covering my mouth because there's food in there. The cheese made it like a little creamier, I think, but I don't know that it really added that much that you'd have to add it. If you didn't have it, it would have been fine without it. Honestly, it's delicious. So, of all the dishes, he's just going, <laughs> of all the dishes I made today, I'm still covering my mouth. Of all the dishes I made today, which one was your favorite? The grilled cheese with the, um, the tomato soup. Yeah, I thought he was going to say that. I like this one. This one, then the soup. Tomato soup is old, always my favorite. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello again. It's me. I uh, want to talk about today's menu. I made a lot of different things. 
uh, cheese. Well, I didn't make grilled cheese, but that's the obvious. The cheese roll up, the soup, um, tomato soup with the, with the uh, pasta, uh, the two that we made at the end. Those are the things that you can mix and match. What did I think about everything? I thought it was all pretty good. Um, I wish that the portion size for the breakfast part was a little bit bigger. Um, I would definitely do another box of um, the hash browns to make it because I don't think there was, a, it would be enough for me. But again, I'm a very small eater. I don't think it would last a week for a average person. As far as the last two meals, everybody ate out of those two pots and there is quite a bit left. And my kids didn't pull any punches. My kids eat as much as they want until they're full. They don't overeat, but some of them have bigger appetites than others and there's quite a bit. So those two last ones I made could span many, many meals and fill in. And you can go back and forth between what you like, what you don't like, or, you know, just to get the variety in. And that was what I was going for, was the variety and the calories is what I was going for. See you later, bye.